Hello, second grade friends, and welcome to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we are going to be finishing the game of rows and columns that we started the other day. So let's get out what we need right away. You will need your Number Corner book, blue on top, white on the bottom. We have a pencil, and we're opening up to page 32, the rows and columns record sheet. You should already have round one filled in. Let's get back to our record sheets, to our game, but you can pause the video now if you need to get your supplies. Okay, here is our here are our record sheets for our game. I have the record sheet for me, for the teacher, and the record sheet for you, for students. Remember, we're playing teacher versus students, and we've already finished round one. When we play, we roll our dice two times on each turn. The first roll will tell us our rows, and the second roll will tell us our columns. We will build them by coloring in our tiles and write an equation for our rows and our columns. Remember, whoever has the most squares at the end is the winner. I'll help you to remember how to play as I explain my first roll in round two. For right now, you're just watching. Remember, only I fill in the teacher record sheet and you fill in the student record sheet. Here's my first roll. I rolled a four. Remember, that tells me my rows. I'll have four rows. I'm going to start down by my star and mark them. Mark one, two, three, four. Now I'll roll again for my columns. I rolled a three. So I'll write up here that I have three columns. And I'll mark them starting on my star side. One, two, three. Now this frame I made gives me a good idea of what my array will look like. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in pretty quickly. This isn't a beautiful drawing, it's just a math sketch so I can see my array, but I want to make sure I go all the way to the edges. Now I can see that I have everything filled in. I need to think of an equation for my rows. Well I know my rows go across. And in my first row down by my star, I have one, two, three squares. So I'll start my equation with a three. But I have more rows. Remember, they all must be the same, or it's not an array. So I have three plus three plus three plus three. Now I can think about these as doubles. I have four rows of three. 3 plus 3 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 6 is 12, so I have 12 squares. Now I can look at my columns. I have 1, 2, 3 columns of 4. So this equation could be 4 plus 4 plus 4. Well, I know 4 plus 4 is 8, and if I add another 4 in my head, I have 12. Remember, my equations must each have the same sum, or it wouldn't be the same array. So I have 12 squares total. Now let's have your turn. You are recording this now on your record sheet. This is your second round. Here's your first roll. You've rolled a three. Right up here in your rows that you will be making three rows. Now for my second roll, what's it going to tell us? It's going to tell us how many columns we need. And we've rolled a four. We'll need four columns. And I skipped a step. Let's go backwards. Let's mark our rows. Starting at our star, we'll need one, two, three. Let's mark our columns. Starting on our star side at the top, we'll need one, two, three three, four. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Do you have a pretty good idea of what your array will look like? Oh, big thumbs up. Yes, we have a pretty good idea so far.
as this frame tells us. Let's color it in. And remember, it's not a beautiful drawing we're going to hang on the fridge. It's just a math sketch, but we need to go all the way to the edges. Now, can you think of an equation for your rows going across? If you were thinking 4 plus 4 plus 4, good thinking, because we have 1, 2, 3 rows of 4. Now, I know 4 plus 4 is 8, plus another 4 is 12. Now I'm going to look at my columns. Can you think of an equation for our columns? Now I see four columns of three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four columns. So I have three plus three plus three plus three. I know it must be the same answer. If it wasn't, it would be a different array. So I know I have 12 squares, or I'm sorry, you have 12 squares for the second round. Last round. Back to my turn. Remember, you don't need to write what's in red. I'm going to roll. What am I rolling for? My rows or columns. I'm rolling for my rows, and I rolled a 2. So I'm going to put 2 up here for my rows. Go to my star, mark 1, 2. Move on to my columns. I've rolled a 3, so I'm going to mark 3 columns. Go to my star side, mark 1, 2, 3. Do I have a pretty good idea what this is going to look like? I sure do. It's all framed in. I'm going to fill it in. Now I have it all filled in to my edges. What's an equation I could write for my rows? Looking across. If you were thinking 3, because I have my first row of 1, 2, 3 squares, plus 3, because my second row is 1, 2, 3 squares, great thinking. They must be the same. 2 rows of 3 equals 6. This is a double. Can you think of an equation for my columns? Now if you're seeing 1, 2, 3 columns of 2, a good equation would be 2 for my first column, plus 2 for my second column, plus 2 for my third column. 2, 4, 6. I have 6 squares. Let's play your last roll. You rolled a 3. Oh, we rolled a 3 last time for our rows. Let's fill it in. Let's mark it starting at our star. 1, 2, 3. Let's roll for our rows. We've rolled a 3. Well, you've rolled a 3. Three. Oh, I'm sorry for our columns. I might have said rows, but it's our columns this time. Let's mark on our star side one, two, three columns. Do you have a pretty good idea what the array will look like? I hope so. Let's fill it in. You're filling it in with your pencil. I'm filling it in with my marker. I'm trying to. It's not working very well. There we go. All filled in. Okey what's an equation for my rows? How many rows do I have of how many squares? I have one, two, three rows of three squares each. That's three. Plus three. Plus three. Three plus three is a double of six, seven, eight, nine. Nine squares. Let's look at it the other way for our columns. Now we also have one, two, three columns of one, two, three each. It's the same because this is a square. It's a big square with little squares inside it. So our equation would be the same. Three plus three plus three equals nine. Same equation, same answer. Now we've played all three rounds. We need to add up 
all of the rounds for each player to see who won. I'm going to flip my sheets to help me add them up a little better. Now on my record sheet, I flipped it sideways. Watch this one for an example. I have 25 squares from my first round plus 12 squares from my second round plus another, I only really need one plus sign, three squares for my last round. If I'm looking at all my ones, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones. All of these together equal ten. Well, I know I need to move my ones down to my ones place. And I need my ten all the way over in my tens place here. So when I add these up, I really have one, two, three, four tens. My score is 40. I'll flip this and rate that for my final score. Let's write your final score. Okay, flip your page sideways. And let's add them all up. In our first round, you had 8 squares plus 12 squares in the second round plus 3 squares in the third round. And if I'm adding up my 1s, I know that 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 3 more is 13, so altogether this is 13. I need to move my 1 down here for my 1s place and my 10 needs to go all the way over into my 10s place up here. So I have 1, 2, 10s, and 3, 1s. Your final score was 23. Let's flip this to the side and add it right here that you had 23 squares. Now we know that 40 is a bigger number than 23, so students lost this round. We're going to think about this last part on our next game to say how many we won or lost by because we're just about out of time. Thank you for finishing this game of the rows and columns game with me. Wonderful work. Take a picture of this to show your teacher we're all done with this round and I'll see you next time for Number Corner.